it's, it's, it's money or food that's given to the poor. And so when Peter and John comes close to him, he asks them for alms as he has asked thousands of others before. But instead of money, Peter gives him hope. Instead of giving him another handout, Peter gives him a hand up. Peter told him, look on us for silver and gold we do not have. But such as I got. Hallelujah. I wonder how many people here are sitting here today settling for something less than. I believe that this man prayed and asked God for healing. I believe he started out believing that one day God was going to do something that would change his life. I believe he started out in faith. But you know how that is that when you start out in faith, days turn to weeks. Weeks into months. Months into years. And the longer the miracle is delayed, the more difficult it is to maintain faith that it will come to pass. And I know y'all won't say amen, but, but, but you know I'm telling you the truth. That the, the longer the days roll into weeks and the weeks into months and the months into years, the things you started out believing God for, you start wondering whether or not God's going to turn it around. When, 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 it, when the situation first arose, you posted on your Instagram, your Facebook, and your Twitter, and you bragged on how God was going to bless you. Your tagline was, I believe, 26. <laughs> then time happened. January rolled over into July. Now one, two, and three years have passed. Now, what? Give me the next slide, my brother. Do you still believe? Are you still holding on? Has your next slide? Has your testimony changed? Is he still able? Is he still able? Peter spoke to this man's condition and not to his situation because Peter knew what it was like to be crippled by his condition and in need of someone to help. Peter understood that, 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 that he understood what it meant to be rejected. He understood what it meant to fail, to mess up, to feel hopeless. Peter knew what it was like to start out in faith and end up in the flesh. But Peter also knew what it was like to be restored and to be delivered and to be rescued and to be given another opportunity and another chance. You ought to know what your neighbor say, but, but, but he understood what it was like to be forgiven. Woo! Hallelujah. See, you got to know both realms. You got to know what it feels like to be rejected, but you got to know what it feels like to be taken in and loved. You got you to know what it feels like to be in want, but you got to know what it feels like not to be in want. You got to be able to go on both sides and say, but say, I've had some good days. Not just bad days. Yes. Hallelujah. Because it makes a difference on how you treat folk. Yes. Mm, it makes a difference on how you face reality. And tell reality you got to shift and change. Because I've already been down that road. And if God can do it for me back then, he can surely do it for me. Yes. Right now, does anybody believe that God can still do it for you? It may have been one, two, or three years. It may have been weeks and months and years. But God is still able. Hallelujah. You need to go update your Twitter page. You need to repost something up and say, I still believe God. Hallelujah. Because the word still works. Through your name, it is power in the name. Jesus.